So this is the Pantheon, one of the most beautiful architectural feats in human history. And even though it says at the top there, Agrippa built this, uh, it was really built by Hadrian, and it was changed by Septimus Severus. Uh, it originally had bronze everywhere, and the tradition says that the bronze was stolen to build the Baldacchino in St. Peter's Basilica. Uh, originally, it had uh, niches or ridiculi with uh, statues of um, the gods and goddesses that was filled with jewels, um, and it was a beautiful piece. Now it's um, uh, a church of, of St. Mary of the Martyrs, I believe, and um, it's a perfect sphere, and it's got the oculus in the center that comes down and on Pentecost, they, um, during the Eucharistic prayer, they rain down rose petals. Uh, they did it virtually this year, but they did do it. It's just a great place. All Raphael's buried there, and Victor Emmanuel II, King, and Umberto I. Sometimes when it rains and the water drops down uh, through the oculus, um, thunder, or lightning rather, strikes and uh, sparks fly. Uh, that's another a tradition, I don't know, a legend if that's true or not. For a long time during the 16th and 17th century, on the Feast of St. Joseph, March 19th, which is Father's Day here, by the way, they used to have uh, booths and things that they would sell, uh, paintings and that kind of thing here in the, um, in the porch area. So it's, it's just a magnificent piece of work. And if you go around, you can see the different uh, uh, types of bricks that they used. And usually this place is filled, but um, even though there's dancing going on over there, uh, it's a great place to be.